Hey, hey Cashew Maniacs. Maniacs! In today's episode, we are starting our adventure again in finding the perfect vegan fish. What are we making today? Today we're gonna try a new ingredient. It's called banana blossom. It's the fruit of uh, the banana plant and it's very used in Asia and India. They use it as a substitute for fish because of the texture that it has. And today we're gonna just make a really nice batter. We're gonna make some nori seaweed. We're gonna add some garlic, some lemon. We're gonna make a beer batter and fry it like fish and chips traditional English recipe. Yum! Does that include, in the end, pouring a little bit of vinegar on top? Because that's what you do in England when oh. you eat fish and chips. If you want to, we could do that. I would love it. The banana blossoms come in, well, we bought them in a supermarket in, in a can like this. Funnily enough, it says here on the on the front already, new great meat substitute, which is super cool that they're already like Praising it on top of the of the can, and it says uh, the vegan food creator. I'm excited in trying these. Me too. At least today we're doing a fish substitute from a product that it comes from the nature. I'm going to show you how it looks out of the can. It's like a plant, more or less. So interesting. It's between an artichoke. Oh yeah, it looks like an artichoke. And um, and jackfruit. It's also very similar to this. All right, let's get going. So now we're gonna do the marinade for the banana blossoms. And we're gonna start with cutting some seaweed. Like one sheet or two? How much do you use? I think um, with half it's, it's gonna be okay. Because it's just uh, one dose of this um, banana blossom. It's one can of banana blossom. Yeah, one can. Too long living in Germany. It's <laughs> dose. Dose. <laughs> <laughs> we can first cutting it with our fingers. And when the batter is done, if we think we want to have it a little smaller, we can smash it in the machine otherwise. I always love it to do it with my hands. When I was a kid and I was nervous, I was always cutting papers very, very small. To the nori seaweed, we're gonna add the juice of half a lemon. Remember that every time that you wanna do a recipe that resembles the fish, you can use seaweed for it, because it always resembles the taste. We can use one teaspoon of garlic powder, a little bit of salt and also some of this fish salt that has some herbs on it. This always helps reaching the taste that they want you to have because if they put this on real fish probably it's for a reason. Also it's very typical to use dill for this so we're gonna add a little bit of dill and I'm gonna put some olive oil because that's how you create a marinade. Wow! And a little bit of soy milk. So now we have a nice marinade. Let me see. I like it. I think what I would like to do now. It's these banana blossoms are very big. I think if we could, I would like to cut them at least in two. And for this, I think what you can do is just separate them a little bit on a part that you think, okay, this is the half, and you cut just this in here. So it's still all together, but you still have two different parts. This is already separating, so we'll have to separate this kind of filet. We can do with our hands because it's very fragile. Okay. 
Probably you have uh, eaten pakoras from the Indian cuisine and they use a very, very fluffy butter to fry their veggies and that's more or less what we're doing today. Also, if you ate before fish and chips, you also ate this type of butter, very inflated and not just crumbly like with um, breadcrumbs or paneer meal. So I'm going to put the fillets in this plate and we're going to put the batter on top or the marinade on top. And what I will do now is just massage it a little and that's it. We just have to let them marinate as long as you can. If you don't have much time, leave it 10 minutes. If you have more time, leave it a couple of hours. And next. So we're making now the batter for our banana blossoms and we're gonna use the bowl. <laughs> the bowl, one spoon. And we're gonna use some flour. some starch here's some baking powder like half teaspoon a little less some salt some fish herbs olive oil A little bit of water and also a little bit of beer let's incorporate all together and if the color is a little bit too white we can use a little bit of curcuma again <laughs> I think it could have a little bit more starch. It could have it a little more thick. But let's try to avoid all the clumps. You can always try if the batter is good enough, if it's sticky enough to the product that you want to batter with it. You try a little bit, like for example this little piece that we have here. You just put it in, coat it, take it out. If you take it out and it's still some part sticking on it, it's okay. Otherwise just, just add a little bit of more flour. Now what I would say is now we go to the kitchen and we're gonna uh, take our banana blossoms swim them in the butter and fry them in really hot oil. Put them in a plate with a paper so it absorbs a little bit of oil and ready to go. If you want to have a tip for how to know when the oil is bubbly and you don't have any utensils to measure the temperature, first tip is look at the bubbles that the oil is forming. And second tip is use the example that you had before to batter it in and put it inside as a first trial. If the bubbles are very intense and loud, it's done. Right now, for example, it's kind of soft, but suddenly it's popping. So the next piece that we will put inside the oil will be perfect. Wow, it looks so cool. Looks very fluffy already. It will be like a tempura. Yeah, Better. nice. It doesn't have the color like a fish and chips yet, but maybe this will come with more oil? You know what it looks like? Uh, pescadito. What is that? It's like, um, it's, uh, it's really for real little, little fish that they take in Spain and they fry it with a, in a batter like this. Should be illegal totally. But with banana blossoms. Well, now we fried the first piece. 
that's our first test and it has the perfect color perfect consistency we just have to try now if it's salty enough okay now time to try I like it I could have a little more salt and a little more um, maybe we need to put this vinegar that you said on top want to try yours yeah okay here we go good batter yeah it could use a pinch of salt more and vinegar only in the end like as a dressing super good We have our banana blossom fish, vegan fish, and it does look incredible. I mean, there are some pieces that really resemble fish fried parts. I'm really excited to try it. Yeah. You mentioned that in England they eat it in a different way. Yeah, in England they normally put some vinegar on top. Um, I'm not sure if it's actually apple vinegar or if it's white wine vinegar, but we have also lemon slices and yeah, I'm excited to dig in because they are fluffy. Mm. They're super fluffy like fish and chips. I think I, I would mean, like to have some big salt also. Oh yeah, big salt. Do you want me to put it everywhere or you want to put it on no, the No, put it on the, on the full. Everywhere. Wow. Look at this. Yeah, and put some lemon in general. Oh, I think I would like to try mine with both things Without. differently. Like one with lemon, one with uh, the other one. One with vinegar. Okay, let's try it. Look at this. Mm. My God. It has the consistency of fish. I don't know if it's if the camera's focusing. It has the consistency of fish. How funny is that? I will try with a little bit of lemon. Hit me. You better? Mmm. So fluffy. Oh, I think wow. this batter is super. Once you put beer on the batter in a back pool of baking powder, it becomes really, really fluffy mm. and crunchy. Mmm. This is surreal. We gotta show you a proper close-up in a second. Mm-hmm. bit of lemon juice on top. <laughs> I'm just gonna hit a little bit of mm. apple vinegar. Ah! That is not a little bit. <laughs> the texture, the fluffiness, the combination with the lemon, I think it's perfect. If you're trying to make some fish substitute at home and if you're vegan, I think this is a good recommendation. Of course, it's not the healthiest because you have to fry it in a good amount of oil. Right. But at least it's not something that you buy it in a store, that it's um, that you don't know what is inside really. You know it's banana blossoms and you know what's in the batter. The consistency is like fish. I just put some apple vinegar on a plate. You can dip a little inside if you want because I put a lot. Sure. It tastes like fish and chips. It tastes like those many times I've been to the UK mm -hmm. and ate real fish and chips back in the day. The consistency, everything. It tastes so real, it's unbelievable. Mm. Well, if you like this recipe and you want us to try cooking more recipes, watch our other videos, cook with us, and recommend us something to do. We will do anything. Absolutely, yeah. Anything. <laughs> yeah. Thanks so much for watching, please. Remember to subscribe, like, and yeah, well, leave us a comment. We'll do it all. Bye. Bye. Mm.